This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for July 1st, 2024. It's currently May 26, 2024, 7.28 p.m. Eastern Time. SPY at the time of this reading is $529.44, that's USD. The shuffle video that we're playing for you in the lower left corner was created on May 23rd, 2024 at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Time. The overall theme and behavior for SPY on July 1st is it's overall going to be some bullish behavior. We'll be bumping along resistance sideways, possibly breaking through resistance sideways, or uh, breaking through resistance and then bumping along resistance sideways some more. Uh, behavior around the highest high for the day. We have a mixed, uh, a sideways S formation within a channel. So usually when you see the Queen of Cups in the high correlator position, you're going to see two highs, right? Because you decline from one of them and then you return back to that same price level or that same resistance. I should say, and then you decline off of that again. Sideways S formation within a channel. Uh, behavior around the lowest low for the day, we have a notable rally uh, out of the low, so that'll really stand out. And we should see some, some bumping a lot of resistance sideways around the low as well. I'm advised to trade around an important resistance level on a multi-day scale that we will decline from and then return to allowing for a good entry and exit point once you figure out where it is. And we'll, we'll get into that in more detail in just a moment. But before I do that, I wanna make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. You go to the resources tab of our website, Terra for Traders, and 5% of the profit from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities or pick a charity of your choosing as long as you're paying 5% forward and then 5% should be sent back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use Wise or you can use YouTube tips and that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love as long as you follow those rules. You follow the rule of karma for the channel. The universe considers you an angel investor. is going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. In the pre-market, we have sideways rotation and a big move to the upside followed by more sideways rotation at a higher price level, but then right around the open, we have a notable decline through multiple support levels. The, the seven of discs and the 10 of discs, they have about the same gravitas, if you will, or magnitude is a better word as far as like their, their overall price movement. So we might like see a big move higher than almost a retracement. And then we've got, uh, in the first half hour, we've got uh, a lot of volatility and an opportunity around that resistance level that we, we spoke about just a moment ago. We'll, we'll decline from that resistance into a trough around 10, 1030 and then out of a decline the, that truffle form went out of a decline around 1030 we have a big move from the bottom of the range to the top of the range we rally all the way back to we might rally back to that resistance from just a moment like a half hour earlier we might rally back to that but it'll be a pretty notable move starting out of a decline yeah we just we rally into a key resistance bump along that resistance sideways for a bit there's a trade opportunity there and we do that uh, sideways bump along resistance sideways for a bit somewhere between um 11 and 12 o'clock but also that's where we hit a, a, a resistance level that we declined from there should be like consecutively lower spikes up on the way down. And then a trade opportunity just before 12 o'clock. A lot of price changes. This might be a really big price swing midday here, guys, because we've got three trade opportunities. We've got the Aeon card, which is a big move to the, probably the biggest move to the upside in, in a lot of cases, as far as the bullish cards, because um, you're pushing the upper end of a range higher or, or making a, creating like a bigger range, if you will. Um, but it's also got that translucent yellow correlation, which is the tower card from the previous day, uh, the sneak preview from the previous day, I should say, which is the tower card. And there's a notable decline off of that big move, pushing the upper end of a range higher. So another big move to the downside. So there's looks like there's a high probably somewhere between noon we might see it twice between noon and uh two o'clock but i think we probably end up in a low oh my gosh there's some huge moves this on this day guys so we end up in a like a so there's another low i'll back up there's another low between 12 and 1 that's a trade opportunity it's about probably 12 40. and then there's a, there's a low in the last hour so we, we like push the upper end of a range higher midday, decline off of creating a peak, decline off, declining off of that pretty notably on a one day chart. And then it's a U-shaped dip. Usually there's two peaks on either side of that you know, that priestess card. So it may be that we come back to that resistance again there, which is what the truce card might be telling us. But we have a notable decline to the downside in the last hour. And then this huge move to the upside out of that decline, taking us to a high probably right at the close or in the pre-market. That's a total fake out guys. Do not be fooled by that big move to the upside. Probably we go to the downside, it looks like a good trade. Then we have this big move to the upside and then we decline again. I would say closing, you wanna close that short position probably by noontime in the midst of the low and open up a long position because you're going to be able to it looks like there's probably a few times where you have an opportunity where we return back to that resistance that ace of swords resistance so you can open up a short in the midst of that uh hitting that resistance in the first half hour and you could close that short somewhere at a low between 10 30 and 12. You, at the time you close that that long position you want to open up a short uh, excuse me at the time you close that short position uh, you want to open up a long position and hold that long position until probably like 12 o'clock somewhere when we see push the upper end of the range higher and there's a high in there um and then I would close out of that, and then there's like a big move to the downside, and then this huge move to the upside, providing an opportunity. It's a devil card indicating a significant fake out, but they, the devil card often in a lot of cases is a great opportunity because mo most of the market's getting faked out, and being aware that it's a fake out can be very, very profitable if you play it correctly. So it looks like we want to open up a short position there. 
Yeah, you want to open up a short position there uh, at the close in the midst of that big move to the upside in anticipation of closing that short position, probably here midday somewhere. If not, you could probably close it first thing in the morning. If you have a stronger risk tolerance, you might wait until midday. But if you don't have a stronger risk tolerance, I'd say take the profit first thing in the morning. And that's SPY for the 1st of July. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. You know where to go. You know what to do. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next one.